Sushan. St. George, Utah is one of the fastest growing metropolitan areas in the entire country. Yeah. And there's a lot of reasons why it's growing, but I would say one of the main reasons is just how beautiful it is here. Yeah, I mean, honestly, when you're driving through it, you almost go, you have to pinch yourself going, is this, am I in a dream or is this actually real? Because it is, it's the, again, it is beautiful here. Yes, so what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna talk about how beautiful is it really in St. George, Utah? So stay tuned. What's up, everybody? I'm Sean Dazad. And I'm Courtney Dazad, and we're with Keller Williams Realty right here in St. George, Utah. And if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know all about living in St. George, Utah, don't forget to press on the subscribe button. And don't forget to press on the bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video because we upload new videos every week. Yeah, and as much as we love making these videos, we are licensed realtors in the state of Utah, so what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, what you want to do is you want to give us a call, choose a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back. So everybody knows about Zion, right? I mean, Zion is world famous. Of course, Zion, Zion, Zion. <laughs> I mean, it's only about 45 minutes from here, but I mean, everyone knows about that. So we're not really going to dwell on Zion because... It's a given. It's a given, yeah. You I know mean, this. Everyone. I mean, so many people that live here, they you know they go camping in Zion all the time. I mean, it's, it's just a really, really beautiful place to go and just kind of just be in nature. Yeah, we're not gonna dwell on it as we're dwelling on yes, it. Yes, as we're dwelling on it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about some other parts of the St. George metropolitan region that are very, very beautiful as well that maybe aren't as well known. And it's sort of just, when you hear all these different places, you think you'll just get a better understanding of just how beautiful it is here. But not only that, just the geological diversity here. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just so much diversity, not only in the rock formations, but also like the plant life. I mean, it's just, it's really crazy. I mean, just what is here. So first let's talk just about the downtown. The downtown, there's a cute little main street, you know, you've got town square. And I just think downtown is so beautiful and so cute. And I even just love the trees. <laughs> I mean, don't you think it's just such a beautiful, cute little place? Yeah, I mean, it's just what you think of of a, like a traditional like downtown, right? It's just got more like a small town. Yeah, 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 like a main street. Mm -hmm. You got like you know the fountain, you know, like the yeah, like town square. Mm -hmm. You have Ancestor Square. I mean, you have like so you have cute restaurants. You have just cute places to hang out in. Mm -hmm. So it's just yeah, again, it's just a really cute like like a congregation place. Yeah, and then you're surrounded by, you know, red rocks. I mean, it's just the vistas that you have. Oh, even yeah. just in downtown is just so beautiful. Oh, for sure. I mean, any time that you're really driving around here, the, the vistas are just insane. The oh, yeah. views that you have. Yeah, we were just driving today, actually, and we were just you're going, it's just like, you're like just looking out, you know, over the road, just kind of just look over to the horizon going, is this real? Mm -hmm. You kind of find it, you almost have to like be careful because you kind of can get lost in it a little yeah, bit. It's just kind of so an, striking. You might get in an accident because you're just staring at it and then you're like, oh wait, yeah. somebody's <laughs> putting on the brakes. <laughs> so yeah, that that's just, I mean, even just the center, you know, zero, zero in the grid system. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. Definitely. So another really beautiful feature of the St. George, you know, region. Uh, Washington region, County. You know, Washington County is, you know, all the reservoirs that we have here. I mean, I think maybe one of the knocks that St. George gets is that there isn't a lot of water features because it's a desert, right? Yeah. But we do have a lot of very beautiful uh, reservoirs, you know, like Sand Hollow, Quail Creek, and then a bunch of other reservoirs as well. Like yeah. Gunlock, there's one in Zion that's really beautiful. I mean, they're just all over the place. Pine Valley. Oh, yeah, there's a reservoir in Pine Valley. I mean, some of them you can swim in, some of them you can't, so it just depends on where you're going. But it's just like such a beautiful aspect of the landscape here. Oh, totally. It is. It is. Like, you see, you see all the rocks. I mean, it's just so <laughs> striking in to see these rock formations, and then you, again, you just see these like, nice sized reservoirs. I mean, it's it's really, I mean, it's just like, it blows you away when you see the natural beauty here. Yeah, and the, the contrast of the colors too, the blue against the sandstone. I or mean, the red. Well, yeah, the sandstone is red. But that red <laughs> sandstone, because there's also typically the real sandstone. Oh yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just such a, a an unusual, I would say, combination of colors that you're seeing in nature. For sure, yeah. Yeah, and it's weird too, because like, it's not that far away. These reservoirs aren't that far away from the center of town, 
but yet you're seemingly in a totally different, uh, you know, environment. Yeah, and we're going to kind of allude to these in a little bit more, like some of the other features, but it is kind of amazing how close everything is to, let's say, downtown, like, you know, like city center or mm -hmm. town center. Like, it's just, it's crazy because, you know, you're not going, you are going hours away. Mm -hmm. You're going maybe 30 minutes, 45 mm -hmm. minutes, 15 minutes. Like, it's mm -hmm. pretty nuts. Yeah, I mean, now that Sean mentioned it, let's talk about, you know, Snow Canyon State Park. I mean, this is an unbelievably unreal park. It's almost like you're in Mars, yeah. right? And yet you literally are 20 minutes from downtown. I think 15. Yeah, like about we, 15. We, yeah, we, <laughs> we went on a hike there, and then 15 minutes later, we're at Bear Paw Cafe, like just having, you know, of course, after a hike, mm -hmm. what you need to nourish yourself is a nice stuffed, uh, French toast. I mean, what you know? Yeah. What better way? With lots to, of sugar. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's just mm -hmm. how the, the breakfast of champions. For sure. But I mean, again, having said that, it's only fifteen minutes away, and it, you feel like you're in a different world. Like you said, like, we're like Martians, right? Like mm -hmm. it's insane. There's the red rocks, and like it's it's just unbelievable. I mean, and you're walking, and and it's like from a distance, you're going, okay, that looks like a painting. Mm -hmm. But then you get closer, and you're going it still looks like a painting. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's just like, how can this be real on earth? But it is, and it's only 15 minutes away. Mm -hmm. So another area that you sort of get different flora and fauna, or you feel different, I would say, that's that's fairly close, is like the Veo pool, and then like the camping site around that, where you can go hiking, where you can go crawdad fishing. It definitely feels different than maybe, um, you know, St. George City Center. But again, it's really really close what is it like 30 minutes yeah give or take yeah 30 minutes away you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere <laughs> totally in a different spot but in reality you're fairly close to downtown yeah that's again it's the weird thing about this is that all these places that like feel like you're a world away mm -hmm. aren't and again and it has a different feel because especially if you step on the car and pinch you <laughs> Has a really <laughs> different feel, but yeah, it's like that's a weird. Like it's a, it's a it's an interesting uh, activity mm -hmm. to hunt for to fish for crawdads. I mean, mm -hmm. literally, they give you like a piece of a hot dog, like a raw hot dog piece, mm -hmm. break it up into chunks, and you. And I guess the car dads absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, it's a natural spring. The pool is a natural spring. There's lots of climbing there. There's a literally a pool, so the spring feeds into a. It's kind of the it's funniest a, it's thing. A pool, that, yeah. yeah, it's actually a pool, like you know, like a public pool. I mean, you have to pay for it, but like, mm -hmm. and it, so the spring feeds in that, and then therefore, and then it feeds into the rest of the river, but like or the creek, and it's just again, it's it's a cool, like it's a cool experience. Very outdoorsy, very again, you feel like you're in Yosemite or where I mean, you just feel like you're in a totally different area, mm -hmm. and you're not. Another place you can go very close to city center that you feel you just see this amazing uh, geological structures is even when you get up into Ivan's, which is not very far away. It's like 20 minutes. Then you see and you're, you know, you're at the basically this is where they have the Tuacan Theater. Not Tuacan. 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 Well, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Well, it's not Tuacan though. No, it's not Tuacan. <laughs> but they have the theater up there because the rock formations are insane another place that you just see this phenomenal beauty of the earth that's literally 20 minutes from city center yeah it, it's it's crazy i mean when you're going to like to a can especially like you see, i mean again it's just so striking these rock formations and it comes to a head and makes this beautiful like amphitheater experience and mm -hmm. and like it's a brilliant how they pull it off like then and you just have tedx talks or you have like Please. performances and all mm -hmm. stuff and it's just a natural amphitheater and again just the backdrop is just unbelievable mm -hmm. or even when you get out to virgin or even or hurricane virgin i mean as you're getting closer to zion and you can see zion in the distance oh my gosh that is it it is another for example sean's best friend he lives in virgin and where he lives you feel so like you're in the middle of nowhere, right? But again, you're only about 30 minutes from city center and you can see Zion in the distance and it's just this unbelievable sight, right? It's so... The view is like nothing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, and you, the peace and the quiet, it's just so incredible. And it's just right here, right at our fingertips. You can literally go there anytime you want. Yeah. Because it's so close to just, if you know, most people obviously live in close to the city center because, you know, most people, that's just how they live, right? But it's so close to where you live. Now, anytime you want, 
is it like some of the some of these places are off the beaten path. There is no paved road, so you probably don't want to go there in you know, like one of the three days that it's raining. But <laughs> otherwise, yes, like any other time you want. Mm -hmm. And lastly, let's talk about Pine Valley because I was talking about how the different you know the the diversity of flora and fauna here. I know Pine Valley is about fifty minutes or forty five minutes from city center. And it is completely different because we live in the desert, right? We're the, the American Southwest. But then 45 minutes away, you have pine trees, mountains. I mean, you feel like almost you're in northern Utah, which yeah, is kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you have like a pine forest here. So it's totally different stuff. And your, your altitude at you know, Pine Valley is about 7,000 feet, give or take. You know, again, a lot cooler, you know, and again, you have reservoir there. You, I mean, you have these this beautiful valley mm -hmm. with the backdrop of the mountain, you know, mountain mm -hmm. top, you know, mountain peaks and everything. It's just, it's absolutely, again, it's, again, some of these homes there too, like, you know, their, their, their view from their living room, <laughs> like, is just breathtaking. But again, it's not the red rock. It's not any of that other stuff that's yeah. here. It's a totally different, like, you feel like you're, again, you know, you're on, you're on a mountain, you know, so mm -hmm. you're, you've got that kind of, uh, kind of feel there too. Yeah, I mean, it's not the Red Rocks anymore. It's a pine forest, hence the name Pine Valley. So it's just another example of just the amazing beauty that you have around here of all sorts of different, uh, you know, flora, fauna. Water uh, features. Water features, uh, geological diversity. It's crazy just what you have here. And the small county, you know, like this, this, this yeah. is the one county here. And it's like so much stuff is going on. Right at your fingertips. You can literally feel like you're lost in, you know, the middle of nowhere. And in reality, you're 20 minutes from downtown. And again, not that we dwell on it much at all before, but there's a thing called Zion there mm -hmm. too that, you know, That's not too far away. Either. Yeah, right there. So that's it. That's our video. And again, as much as we love making these videos, what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs because we are licensed realtors in the state of Utah. So if you're looking to buy or sell a home, what you want to do is you want to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back.